Hello, today's Alfresco featured add-on is the FSOFT integration for Alfresco using the CMIS protocol. You can learn more about it at addons.alfresco.com. So here we have Alfresco Share, this is version 4.2, and we're going to go into an accounting site, and we will see in the document library where we are managing invoices. So these invoices come in as paper documents. We're going to scan them. And the, the scanner will drop them into the scan folder as a SIFS drive or web dev or something as a hot folder. And uh, as the documents come in here, then they will get picked up by Ephesoft, processed, and put into the process folder. So this was empty, and we just dropped in a whole, a whole pile of documents. Uh, then we come in and look, and there's uh, the only documents that Ephesoft will pick up have the pro author property of scanner. That's how it knows it's new. And then after it's after it's imported into FSOF, that'll get changed and then to processed, and then it'll get processed and, and pushed put into the other folder. So the way that we added that property is we have a rule on this folder uh, to mark it for processing. So this this is a simple content rule in Alfresco, and it marks that property to be to be scanner, uh, the author property, whenever new content is put in this folder. So now we come to our Windows Virtual Machine and you'll see here there's a FSOF shortcuts in the start menu and uh, you s there's one for starting the server and there's one for the home. So here's FSOF home. You'll see an administrator and operator area. We're going to log in as an administrator. And uh, in here we can see where we can manage batch classes. So these are collections of documents that we're going to scan. So I've already done, you know, we already dropped these in a number of times. Uh, the system's been processing. It's a virtual machine. It struggles to keep up. So there's a bunch in the in the queue. And we can see the ones we dropped in uh, have already been picked up. So after they get picked up, FSOFT is going to update the author property to say, look, it's been imported. And so it won't do the same document twice. And then you can have a cleanup script that will go clean out this folder on a regular basis with all the imported stuff. So uh, you can see all these different uh, batches, all these different groups of documents that are in our queue. And uh, each of these are getting processed currently. You can see there are different states between new and running. Uh, it takes a little while, so the ones that we put in are still in, in the state of new. But once they get processed, they'll get flagged for an operator. So we log in as an operator. And uh, let's look at stuff we need to validate. So here's a collection of batches. Uh, groups of documents that need some operator intervention. And so we come into the details view. Now this operator view is meant to be very efficient at indexing this content. So there's a lot of shortcuts to do pretty much everything in the system. And uh, so an operator as they work in the system is going to get pretty fast and experienced with this. You can see here that FSOFT is is already it identifies regions where this content is so it's already pulled out some of these but it hasn't done name vendor name or vendor number that's because these are supposed to be looked up in the database as you can see in the error at the top I didn't look I didn't take the time to set that up so uh, we're gonna fill those in by hand and then we can save this batch there's a keystroke for that as well and move on to the next batch and you can move pretty quickly through uh, a lot of documents this way let's scroll down I want to show you the a multi-page document uh, it does know how to handle that so when we come into this uh, two-page invoice it does the same thing it'll process and pull out what it can and the so page one and page two have the same set of fields so it already got the invoice number out you can see that highlighted in yellow and, uh, and it got the date, but it wants to have a zero at the start of the date to match the, the uh, rule. These two come out of the database, so we'll just manually fill them in and then go ahead and save that. Uh, but it didn't save because it was still missing the bottom two areas. So we, you know, those are on page two, and you'll see that it, it's not tracking those. It preserves the same fields between page one and page two. It treats them as the same document. Uh, so why didn't it find the total amount? It's because there's a big ink plot. So no wonder it couldn't figure that out. So we'll fill that in. And then we can save this. So once it's validated, then FSOF knows that it can go ahead and push that back into Alfresco. 
So let's go into the operator view and see that, that the documents are progressing. And we come into Alfresco and, and this process folder is where they get put in. And so this is all using the CMIS protocol to export that. So here's a, this isn't one of the ones we did. I didn't want to make you wait for that, uh, but it, but this one got done previously. So we come in the properties. You can see that the invoice got pulled in, the, the invoice date, the vendor name. All these got pulled in from FSOft. And so that means it has to be an invoice type. The FSOft smart enough to tell Alfresco about that type. And uh, we can see the FSOft also set an aspect on this, the FSOft invoice classification aspect. And that has one hidden property as well. And so you could key off of that to do all sorts of automated stuff with content rules based on that aspect. So moving back into FSOft, go into the admin view, and let's let's show you how to set this up. So we'll go in and edit a specific batch class, and when we edit that, uh, let's do the the export first. So uh, there's export at the bottom of the module list. When we come to the plugins, and there's CMS export in the middle. You need to make sure that's in the middle. That is order sensitive. And here's the settings for that. So you can see that we drop it into the to the folder, the the invoices process folder. You can see the CMS server URL. And Alf uh, FSoft does handle OAuth, but we left all that blank because on-premise Alfresco doesn't do OAuth. Uh, now the mappings are done in a in a text file that shows up inside the batch the batch class definition. So to do that, we'll go into FSoft on the command line and. Uh, and look up that was batch class four we're looking at in the CMS plugin mapping. And so here's where we set that aspect in aspects mappings.properties. So uh, the ones that start with a P are Alfresco aspects. And then you can see that there's a property in FSOF size that we set as well. So we applied three aspects there. Now the document level field uh, mapping is where we set the type. Those are the ones that start with a D. And uh, and the properties. So there's all the properties we're going to do. So moving pretty quickly, uh, you can see that the the aspect that this all did get set. So this is the node browser from the admin view, and uh, I looked up one of the the node refs of that document we were looking at a minute ago, and you can see the type got set uh, based on that mapping to FSOF colon FSOF. and you can see the the FSOF specific um, properties, and, and this size is the one that you saw is, the, is tied to the aspect, so it can do the aspects, and there's where the aspect got set. So uh, it did, you know, that mapping does work as it moves through. So let's look at the the import uh, just as quickly. So here we come in, and, and it's one of the modules, and there's the settings. So you can see that. You know, we have the same URL, uh, we put in our repository ID, we're looking for PDFs and TIFFs, there's the folder we're pulling stuff out of, the CM author properties we're looking at, if it says scanner, we'll take it, and then we'll set it to imported. So that is the uh, how to import from CMS, that's also how to export using CMS to Alfresco, that allows you to do some, some automated f functionality with FSOft to capture your documents and make them usable in Alfresco. And you can get more information at add-ons at alfresco.com.